So we're back at that train station that I showed earlier, and I unfortunately started you with a camera full of <laughs> freight container getting moved. The main purpose of trains is to move large amounts of goods quickly, so instead of having to build very lengthy conveyor belt lines, you can have train stations where freight is loaded and unloaded. And then you can have these trains which go very fast, a lot faster than the conveyor belts. And uh, then the train can carry that stuff in batches rather than a stream like the conveyor belt. Very helpful for maps like this one where things are very far apart. And it's also fun to go ride on a train and see the cool exotic geology and uh, <laughs> other sorts of like waterfalls and whatever, you know. There's pretty crazy flora and fauna in this game. But I thought I'd show you my first attempt at a railway in this video. You've already seen part of it while I've been explaining what the train is. <laughs> And uh, you'll see that train tracks make very gradual turns. Now, if I knew at the outset what I know now, I probably could have made this track a little straighter and not had to wobble back and forth until it finally got straight. But <laughs> we learn as we go in this game. That's why there's a spaghetti bowl back at our main base. Instead of something a little bit more neat and orderly, I'm still learning this game. I'm only probably about halfway up the tech tree in this game so far. You can see over here, I built an oil refinery. It's a very um, involved operation, and it's quite distant from my base, so we built this train to carry the products from the base, or from this outpost, I guess, maybe a better way of putting it, to our main base. Believe it or not, all of those buildings over there are supplied by four oil wells. And I could show that to you, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you the train. So, I've timed it. This train track, this train's quite fast, as you can see down at the bottom, there's a there's a speedometer and it goes like 120 kilometers an hour, which for a train loaded with heavy freight, that's pretty fast. <laughs> and it's a whole lot faster than we can run. It's faster than the conveyor belts, even the really fast conveyor belts can carry goods. And so in the five minutes that this video is going to last, because we're going to stop it when we get back to the station we started, we're going to have gone like halfway across the map. We started up here at this train station, and we're going to be all the way down here. We actually started down here at this train station. We went all the way up there, and now we're coming all the way back. This here is the iron note that in our gameplay sample video that you may have seen. We set up a little bit of iron operation, and it took us a minute just to get out. So you can see we went out several times that distance each way, and we're already almost back. <laughs> Trains are quite useful for moving people and for moving goods. We've got a long way to go. It's a great way to do it in this game. Um, there are some other options. There are hyper tubes, which probably go about two thirds as fast as this train, which is pretty fast, but not as fast. And there's also the conveyor belts themselves, of course, can be used for transportation. And then there's self-driving trucks that you can use. Obviously, this train is driving itself. I'm not doing anything with it. But here we are, back at the main station. We covered a lot of distance very quickly. And I'm glad that you joined us for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you again next time. Goodbye now.